The following reviews are about LE Cruzet Signature Enameled Cast Iron 7 1 4 Quart Round French, Dutch, Oven, Solisle. Please go to the link in the description to get it for a low price. There's not much that hasn't been said about this great French oven, but one thing I'll add slash emphasize is that if you are deciding between this and the 5 and a half quart, this is the one to get. The 5 and a half quart pot is terrific, but it is too small for many soups, stews, etc. I can much more easily picture scenarios where people would be wishing the 5 and a half quart had more room, while it is harder to imagine a case where this one would be too big. 5.0 out of 5 stars bigger handles, better grip, most useful size for soup and roasts. My original LE Cruzet has the smaller handles and though it's the most beloved pot I own, the handles are an issue. I have a bit of arthritis in my thumbs and I found that lifting the pot using even silicone mitts was a bit squirmy and I felt a bit unsure, especially when taking a heavy pot out of the oven. This pot has bigger handles for a better grip but is the same, wonderful enamel over cast iron that works so well for cooking soups and roasts. The enamel is inert, like glass and is non-stick as long as you remember not to scratch it up with abrasive cleaners and scrubbers. If something sticks, you can soak it when it's cooled down, and there is a trick for the sad, black patches that happen occasionally to the distracted cook. No saving the burnt flavored food, you're on your own if your pot roast catches on the bottom. I taste the sauce, and if no burnt flavor permeates, we are good to go. To remove burnt patches, let the pot cool down, fill about one-fourth the way with water, add a handful of baking soda and boil up. Then let sit off heat. The action of the alkaline soda on the somewhat acidic burnt food will lift it right off the bottom in big flakes. Then you can wash out the pot as usual. For stains, you can use a paste of baking soda or try some barkeeper's friend, which is said to be non-abrasive. The pot will eventually stain a bit on the bottom, and that is called patina, in other words, don't fret. This pot stays on my stove all the time it's pretty and I love the cherry red, though the other colors are equally attractive. I had to choose, and red is good in many kitchens black and white, yellow, for example. It looks appetizing. I will include here my pot roast recipe, which was and is our favorite dish from the Dutch oven. French style pot roast. 3 pounds chuck roast. Olive oil. 1 big yellow onion. 1 leek, white part cleaned and sliced. 1 diced carrot. 1 stalk fine diced celery Half a pound mushrooms, prefer brown criminy, but white mushrooms work too 2 cloves garlic, crushed 1 bay leaf 1 TBS tomato paste 1 handful parsley, chopped, optional Salt, pepper as desired one third bottle good Merlot, Cabernet, or Shiraz, any drinkable dry red wine. One TBS beef stock paste, Mrs. Miners, or one packet beef bouillon powder. Method Brown meat in LE Cruzet Dutch oven until all sides are browned. Take out meat and set on a platter. Brown onion, large dice, then leek carrot and celery until softened. Add in tomato paste, garlic, beef stock paste or powder, deglaze, bring up the cooked bits from bottom of pot with the wine. Add back the meat, season, add bay leaf. Place in 325 degree oven, cook for two and a half hours or until the meat is tender and falling apart. 
about one half the way to this point, add in the washed, sliced mushrooms. When the meat is cooked, remove it to a platter and keep warm. Degrease the sauce, remove bay leaf, push sauce through a sieve, to extract vegetables, pour sauce into a gravy separator and let settle. Pour off the sauce and discard the fat. Reheat gravy, season if you like with the parsley. Slice the meat and serve with the gravy. 4.0 out of 5 star Slovit, but it will stain and wear. This is my second 7 and 1 fourth French oven. The first lasted about 10 years before the interior enamel on the bottom was worn badly enough that I felt it needed to be replaced. Ironically the interior sides and exterior were pristine and could have passed for new, too bad they can't just refinish the bottom. LC told me to send it in for evaluation, and if they agreed that it was worn but not abused they would replace it free of charge, I had to pay shipping fees to them. They did in fact replace it with a new one. My second one is now over two years old, and it is also starting to show some minor signs of the enamel wearing. You can see it if you inspect it closely, you can also feel it if you run your fingers over it. It's a slightly grainy feeling, as opposed to the perfect smoothness of the intact enamel. I am a serious home cook and I take excellent care of my cookware, especially this French oven. It's great for so many things, as well as being attractive. But I've really grown tired of cleaning it, and I now find myself using it less and less. Whenever I sear anything, which is often, I get stains on the bottom that are a huge pain to remove. Cleaning it can be a multi-day process of soaking and scrubbing with a no-scratch sponge. I should point out that I have used and cleaned it according to LC guidelines. I don't use prohibited abrasive pads or harsh chemicals. I only use plastic or wooden utensils, just to be extra careful. I am confused about some reviews that I see claiming that the pot will not stain, or the enamel does not wear. Maybe others simply use the pot no matter what the condition. But I guarantee you if you do anything more than boil water you will get staining and wear. If this doesn't bother you then it could in fact last a lifetime. I have mixed feelings about this product and although I like it very much I'll probably go with an all-clad stock pot next time. Cooks Illustrated gives it their highest recommendation as a lightweight French oven, the LC is the recommended heavy French oven. I have an all-clad steel skillet that is over 10 years old and still has a perfect cooking surface, despite heavy use. The LC French oven is ubiquitous on cooking shows, which always gives me a laugh. They look great on TV and I'm sure this is a powerful marketing tool. Bear in mind that Ina Garden neither pays for nor cleans her French oven. Give me a break. I love LC products, just understand what you are in for in terms of maintenance and product life. 5.0 out of 5 stars LE Cruzet cast iron French oven cookware is the best there is. Just ask all the friends and family to whom I've given so much of it. This new blue color is very attractive and looks very nice just sitting on my pots and pans shelf. I must admit I cringe when I see virtually every television cook using metal utensils and banging those utensils on the edge of the pan to clean off the food residue. Even Jacques Pepin does it and he of all people should have more respect for this magnificent cookware. Enameled cast iron is very rugged but sharp wraps on the porcelain will eventually cause chipping and your pan will be ruined. I have several pieces of the LE Cruzet including a frying pan and two saucepans and they cook wonderfully. Do not use high heat to melt butter or to heat the pans more quickly, it promotes sticking and burning. 
Use wooden or LE cruzets rubber utensils in these pans to stir and scrape and the luster will remain for many years. These pans will make a much better cook of anyone who appreciates the best. Remember, buy the best and you are only disappointed once. The following reviews are about LE Cruzet Signature Enameled Cast Iron 7-1-4 Quart Round French, Dutch, Oven, Solisle. Please go to the link in the description to get it for a low price. There's not much that hasn't been said about this great French oven, but one thing I'll add slash emphasize is that if you are deciding between this and the 5.5 quart, this is the one to get. The 5.5 quart pot is terrific, but it is too small for many soups, stews, etc. I can much more easily picture scenarios where people would be wishing the 5.5 quart had more room, while it is harder to imagine a case where this one would be too big. 5.0 out of 5 stars bigger handles, better grip, most useful size for soup and roasts. My 